hello guys welcome back to the chair tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix resident evil 4 chain so demo is crashing at startup it is not launching freezing and stuttering stuck on loading screen low fps drop black screen and all these kind of issues and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround so the first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart for that we have to go over here click on this one go for a restart after re restart is done try to play the game so uh, some users all the time comment and say restart is uh, you know it's a uh, unwanted thing like why did you add this as a step sometimes restart is all about the solution so you can try this out so after this let's move to the next one which is all about we have to verify integrity of game file for that we have to go over here in the game right click and go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time so what happens is all the files if any files are missing and if any files are corrupted all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step and this is what you have to try out so verify integrity of game file is going to fix a lot of issue and you can try this out and i hope this video uh, this step is is going to fix the issue as well so just wait for it once you've successfully done this just launch the game and as you can see 394 files are successfully validated which means there is no issue so you can try playing the game next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder here we are in the middle of uh, steam so sometimes launch the game in the installation folder did worked so how to do this so just go over here we have two method one we can very easily navigate it to that go to local file click on browse so very easily you are redirected to the installation folder over here as you can see this pc local is c program file x86 steam steam apps common resident so we are in the installation folder from here just launch the game this is application just launch the game and this is an easy step and if you don't know this and if you want to know how to navigate to the installation folder by just uh, going through uh, file explorer which this particular uh, method or this way we should know this because down the road we need to implement this for that just click on local disk c now go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps go to common now from here go to resident evil 4 from here launch the game this is also fine so we should be knowing how to uh, go to or navigate to the path from the file explorer because down the road in the many uh, many of the like many of the steps we need to know this so try this out next one is all about we have to try with launching the game in the uh, which is done running the game as administrator for that we need to go over here click on this one right click and go to properties go to local file go to the browse i mean go to installation folder now select the application right click and go to properties now from here go to compatibility go for run this program as an administrator if it is unchecked check this go for apply and go for okay and try to play the game parallelly i would like to make you notice uh, and few more step that is all about we have to run the game on the compatibility mode as well this did work it for that just right click go to show more options and go to properties go to compatibility here over here you will be able to see compatibility mode so just click on run this program in the compatibility mode now change this to windows 7 so instead of uh, windows 8 change this to windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok after this if the issue is not solving and you're having a lot of trouble then you just have to just uncheck the compatibility mode so just go over here navigate to compatibility under the compatibility mode just uncheck this one okay uncheck this one and keep running this program as an administrator go for ok because for some users when they run in the compatibility mode for windows 7 the issue become a lot of trouble for them so that is why if that is the case for you as well just uh, neglect the particular step and move to the next one next one is all about after this we have to uh, delete the saved game file for that we need to go over here to the file explorer after saving if you go to the documents we'll be able to get the folder over here so if you if that is the case if you find any folder named this one that is resident evil you just have to delete the respective folder keep in mind you will be losing everything but that is fine we can start from again so just uh, delete the folder once after deleting the folder try to play the game and that did work it for many users 
Next one is a robot. Launch the game using Alt and Tab. I don't know how this is working, but for many users, this worked. So when you're having not launching issue or crashing issue, especially not launching, just click over here. At the same moment, when you're trying to click on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab together. That means just use your mouse to click over here. At the moment when you're clicking this, press Alt and Tab on a keyboard. Then for some users, not for some, for many users, those who are having not launching issue, was completely fixed by using this. That is launching the game with Alt and Tab together, pressing on the keyboard did work for many users. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we have to allow the game to window security. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search. Now we have to go to control panel. Now from here, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, keep scrolling down and we have to find Resident Evil. So most probably you will be able to find in the R. Okay. So over here, if you see the Resident Evil 4 chain, so demo is here. But keep in mind, if this, this should be added here as well as this has to be checked. That is both the private and public should be checked. So there comes a question. What if the game is not added here? So we have to add it manually for that. Click on hello, another app, click on browse. And this is where we need to know how to navigate to the game installation folder using file exploded. So that is why I said, do not depend only on Steam all the time. You should be knowing how to navigate to using this as well. So just open local to see. Now go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, just scroll down and navigate to Resident Evil over here. Just add this. So if I click on add, I'll be getting an error like this because the game is already added. That is why I'm getting the error. Don't get confused. Once it's already added, do not add. But if it's not there, just add by yourself. And once it is done, just close this and try to play the game. If that is not working, we have to unplug all the USB devices. This did work it for many of the cases. So if your USB devices, USB ports are filled with, you know, Logitech controllers, you know, uh, all these kind of things, then it is a mandatory you have to remove them. Just remove everything from the uh, USB ports. And there is one more thing. If you're trying to play the game with the controllers, just remove it, everything, especially if you're trying to play with the multiple monitors and all those, just remove everything. Once after that, launch the game. After game is successfully launched, just if you wanted to play the game with the controller, just control the connect back. That means while launching the game, the controller should not be connected. After launching, I mean disconnecting the controller and launching the game, just connect back the controller and that is going to work for you as well. You can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we have to uh, do this. That means we have to install graphics card manually. For that, I'll be providing a link in the description so over here, for those who are on the NVIDIA, I'll be providing link in the description. Those who are on the AMD, I'll be providing link in the description as well. So AMD use, NVIDIA users, just click on the link, which will be landing you on this page and go over here in the drivers. Now from here, we have to give all the details. That is product series, GeoForce, product type, operating system, everything. So here in my case, I have to select the respective one. So select the respective uh, one over here, select the Windows, which one is your operating system. In my case, it is Windows 11. Give everything and go for start search. Now from here, download the version 5.31.18 that is released on February. Just download this and install it. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, uh, quite simple as it is, just go for submit. And once after you select the respective model and given everything, download. If you're on Windows 11, you have to download this Adrenaline version. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this Adrenaline version. After once it is downloaded, just go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we have to disable Steam Overlay, close all the overlay applications along with overclock applications. So for disabling the Steam Overlay, go over here, right click and go to properties. Under general, if they enable the Steam Overlay while in game, if this is checked, you have to uncheck this which means you're disabling it successfully. Once it is done, you just have to close this. And the next one is all about, we have to first close overlay applications. For that, we just have to go over here in the start, right click and go to task manager. Now from here, as you can see, there are many things which is running. For example, overlay applications and overclocking applications are all different. So overlay applications are like, uh, you know, Discord, 
NVIDIA GeForce experience and all those things comes under overlay. So just if you find this here, just select the respective one, go for end the task, do it one by one for individually for all the overlay applications. And regarding the overclocking application, they are like MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, all these things comes under overclocking applications. So if you find this not only here, but already in your task manager, you have to end the task for applications like MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, etc. And just end it up. And once it is done, you just have to close this and go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we have to perform a clean boot. For performing a clean boot, we have to go over here in the search. Now from here, we have to go to system configuration. Now from here, go to services. And there is an option called disable all. Just click on hide all Microsoft services and click on disable all. Once you're done with this, you will be getting a restart option. So if you get a restart option, just go for a restart option. That is fine. So once you're done with this one, just go for OK. Then try to play the game as well. Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we have to go over here in the search. Now from here, go to graphics setting. I mean, search for graphics settings and you have to add the game. So here I have already added the game because very recently I sh shooted the uh, video for, uh, you know, uh, fatal error and uh, the D3 error for the same. So that is why I already added. So if you don't know how to add it, I'll show you. Just click on the browse. Now from here, we have to navigate to the installation folder that is on local disk. Just open this, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, we just have to navigate to Resident Evil. Just add this up. Once it is already added, you will be able to find it over here. So uh, over, over here, as you can see, it will be there. But keep in mind, if you are adding this for the first time, if you click on the option, this will be at let windows decide. By default, this will be like this. From let windows decide, we have to change this to high performance. So high performance in the sense, which means we are making forcefully making the game run on NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 with max Q design. So just go for save and we have to launch the game. That is what we have to try out. Next one is all about, we have to go for next one that is we have to uh, roll back the drivers. For some users, when they very recently updated to the latest version of graphics card, for example, versions like this, they ended up in a lot of trouble. So if that is the case, then what we have to do is we just have to roll back the driver. For that, go over here in the start, right click and go to device manager. Now go to display adapters, go to NVIDIA GeoPro, select this one, right click and go to properties, go to driver. There is an option called roll back driver. So just roll back the driver. Once after that, you just have to go back to the link over here. Now we just have to go back over here itself. Now from here, we have to search for give the details. That is uh, here it is. Give all the details according to your requirement. Like you can give all the details over here. And once you done go for start search, when you go for start search, most probably you'll be able to see the uh, latest version as well as all the versions over here. So if you find here, we can see that on the February 28, 23, this is the latest version that is 5.31.18. So which we already downloaded a, a, a few minutes back and we installed it, but we had a lot of trouble. So now after rolling back the driver, we are just trying with version 5.28. It, it, it is updated or released on, uh, it is a little bit older version. So just install these older versions, not only this one, even if you have many more older versions, go for any one of the older version and go for try to play the game. This did work it and you can try this out as well. Because why this? For some users, when they install the latest version, that is 531.18, what happens is they end up in a lot of trouble. So that is why we have to roll back the driver. Once you click on the rollback driver, you have to download the version from the same NVIDIA. But you should not be downloading this particular version, which is the latest one. You should be downloading the little bit older versions, which are released in the past month or maybe two or three months back or in between that. So just download the older versions and install it. So when you do this, when many people tried this, it worked them. So that is why I'm recommending some of the users in the Steam community, as well as in other forms, uh, forums like Reddit, they did mention this. So you can try this out. That is why I'm explaining this in little bit detail and you can try this out. Next one is all about, we have to increase virtual memory. For that, we have to go over here in the search. 
go for a uh, view advanced system setting go to advanced at the top go for settings now from here go to advanced now click on change and now go for custom size before that over here under virtual memory you should be selecting the local disk where the game is installed if you are having multiple local disks so here in my case i'm only having one local disk so if you are having multiple disks then you have to keep in mind make sure that you selected only the local disk where the game is installed once after that go for custom size we have to give the value for both initial size as well as maximum size and the initial size we need to do a calculation for that we need to know what is the ram of our computer so if you don't know just go over here in the search go to settings which is very simple go at the system at top now scroll down and go to about over here you can see you will be able to find 32 gb is my ram so understood the 32 gb so in your case you have to find what is your ram in the same way once you find that 32 gb is your ram just go back now we need a calculator so for calculator we just click on this one now from here we have to go to 32 gb is my ram then we have to multiply it with 1024 that is 32768 now we have to multiply with 1.5 1.5 times that is 49,152. Now let me uh, paste this over here. I have to paste this, not over here, sorry. Paste this over here that is 49,152. Now let me go for maximum size. So the maximum size is 32 GB into 1024. Now I have to multiply it with 3 that is 98,304. I have to copy this. I have to paste this as well. Now go for OK. Once you're done with this one, just launch the game and that is going to work for you next one is all about we have to update windows for that just go over here in the search now go to settings now from here go to uh, windows update at the bottom left update the windows to the latest version and try to play the game afterwards the last one is all about we have to uninstall the game and reinstalling it back for that we just have to go over here right click and go to uh, uninstall the game uninstall the game after uninstalling the game we have to reinstalling it back but keep in mind when you do this you should be installing the game on local disk, any other local disk. So if the game, for me, it is in local disk C. So I have already installed. So uninstall means I have to uninstall from this and install it back on any other local disk. Like I mean, any other drive. So that is what you have to try out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if, I, and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out.